united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. Good morning, viewers, and welcome to your program, United with Christ. My name is Eugene May. I'm your host this morning. Um, I am an author and uh, the founder of Eugene May Ministries. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm so glad to be coming into your house, into your homes, into your bedrooms, wherever you are right now, to deliver the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to be taking my first uh, Bible reading from. Um, John 8 36 and it says so if the Son sets you free you will be free indeed I know many of you are already free indeed but we want to learn how to operate in that freedom that has already been given to us so at this point I would like to invite you to call in with your prayers um, your uh, testimonies your questions whatever you have you know call in I'm available to answer your questions and remember KSCE is um, a viewer supported station. So call in with your donations so that the work of God will con you know, continue. Because if there is no KSCE, people like me won't be coming into your, your, your uh, TV screen. So please call in with your donations. And I, I thank God on your behalf. And I, praise, uh, I pray that the Lord will supply you all your needs and bless you as you, as you bless KSCE. Okay, I would like to say a little prayer and then we'll um, continue with the program. Lord, our Abba Father, we have gathered in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ again to ascribe every honor, praise, and worship to you for everything that you have done for us through the dead, burial, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now we ask you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit lead us in all that we shall do in here today. Let your healing and deliverance flow into your people's lives through the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Welcome again once more. Um, my name is Eugene May, and I just want to thank God for the opportunity I have to come into your homes. And I thank the KSCE staff members for the privilege and the help around here to make this all possible to you. Today, um. I'm so excited about the teaching today. You know, last week I was here and I touched on um, a topic uh, I titled The Spiritual Strongholds Against our, our Marriages. And I said that I told you guys I'll be um, delivering it in series. Uh, the first one that, that was for the last week, I talked about marrying spirits. Yes, I didn't quite finish um, on that series, but I'm going to start off from where I stopped. And uh, if you have a pen and paper, Get ready, you're going to be writing a lot of things down today. And um, I'll, I shall continue from where I stop, but even if I don't finish it, I, I still, I will, trust me, I'll touch on anything that you need to know. But for, for most of all, you know, 30 minutes is not enough to deliver whatever I have to teach. So you can purchase this book, you can call into KSCE with your $25 donat donation, we will send you this. Uh, you can see my website on the screen. You can go there also. The book is available in Amazon anywhere, Barnes and Nobles. You can get it for yourself and get the, you know, the details of everything I'm teaching you today, okay? Okay, like I said, I stopped um, last week. I started teaching on the marine spirit, how the marine world functions, how the enemy, how Satan loses, uses the marine spirit to fight us in our marriages. That is why, you know, so many things are going on and people are wondering what is, you know, how come the church is being affected? Even the church is being affected. The divorce rate in our churches is higher than the secular world. So the Lord has allowed me to witness and to experience and live through, through his instructions because I didn't just uh, experience what I experienced by myself. The Holy Spirit was on, on hand to teach me and that is what I want to impact to you today so that you, you, you know, you will start living a peaceful and healthy relationship with your husband or your wife. Yeah, I stopped last week. I made mention of um, many signs that you need to look out for in order to determine whether you're being attacked by the marine spirit in your marriage. Uh, and I, 
uh, I gave you some points to look out for today. I'm going to be giving you more information, but for your info today, I'm going to be talking about the series, the number two series. The, the title I'm going to be dealing with today is The Ancestral Spirit as a Stronghold Against Our Marriages. You know, I already dealt with marrying spirit. This one is the ancestral spirit also, which the enemy uses to attack us in our marriages. Yes, that might sound, it might sound very scary, but hold on, I'm going to be teaching you on this so that, you know, when something is exposed, deliverance has come. I proclaim deliverance in your marriage today, healing in your marriage today. The enemy has nothing, has no tactics, you know, to come against you in your marriage anymore. By the time I'm done with this series, you're going to be free from whatever it is that is holding you from enjoying your marriage in the almighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Good. Like I, I, I said, I pointed so many points about the ancestral spirits. Then today I'm going to be um, going into some more, some more um, signs that you need to look out for. Uh, and another one is, in addition to the ones I already gave you guys before, do you, um, do, have you gotten married several times and you lost your spouses. I mean, they, uh, what I mean by l losing, they died. Like you married the number one husband, your hu that husband or wife passed away, and you married the second one, and that one still passed away. That is the, uh, that's how the marrying spirit also functions. You know, they, they come at you, and they, uh, if, at worst, they eliminate whoever you are, you, you, you are married to just for them to have you to themselves. So if you've experienced that in your marriage, trust me, that's a married spirit there working against you. So um, you need to look out for that, and, uh, 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 and I'm going to be giving you uh, um, a solution. You know, usually I'll give solution to whatever it is, you know, that I'm talking about. Number two sign, again, is have you been... Have you been have you have you been married multiple times and they you see a pattern like the, your first husband or your wife has something in common with the second wife or the second marriage you know something like there is a commonality between the kinds of people you always end up with you know like some some women who always end up with very abusive men just like some men might end up with very very uh, promiscuous wives. You know, they married the first one, the second one, um, the same experience. So if, you're, if you've gone through that kind of thing, that's the work of the marrying spirit. And another big sign, uh, this one is going to shock you, is are you being harassed in your health? That is your health under incessant attacks from the kingdom of darkness. You know, from nowhere um, you're being diagnosed for, with diabetes, high blood pressure and all those kind of things that is their work they when they have those sexual relationships with you guys like i discussed last week when they have that sexual contact with you they they disseminate diseases into human beings that turn out to be very um something that you know could even end up destroying you just because they want to get you out of the way yes that is how they function i'm going to be discussing in details all these things but now i need to face um my main topic today which is the ancestral spirit so yeah the ancestral spirit let me tell you a little story you know in the past i had this dream where uh in the vent of my home there are there were serpents in there so I, I, you know, out of fear, I ran out to go look for someone to come and help me. Then by the time I came back, an angel, angel of the Lord came and picked the serpent and was telling me, by now you should be able to destroy this little, little serpents. Kind of, um, why can't I take care of those things, those little, little serpents? Why do I have to go uh, uh, um, calling someone to come and help me? So that brings me to the fact that the Lord has equipped us with everything we need to destroy all the works of uh, Satan against us. So, but I know uh, some believers might be saying, um, uh, when you become a born again, you know, you don't have a, you don't have to be afraid of the sat of Satan or you don't have to be doing all those things. Well, but he's busy attacking you, attacking us in our marriages, in our homes, against our children and everything. So, the Lord is kind of watching us to see, 
have equipped these children with everything they need. And yet, it's, it's like looking at us as, we are, as though we are cowards. We cannot make use of what he has given unto us. The death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Which power can, what power can be compared with the blood of Jesus Christ? So today, as I'm going to teach you, teach you guys on this ancestral spirit, it is my hope, you know, that you will make use of the authority that the Lord has already equipped you and send Satan and all his agents to hell where they belong. Yes, that is where they belong. So, um, uh, please do call in with your questions and testimonies or any you know, whatever question you have, I'm here to answer it for you. And remember to make donations, please. KSCE has to go on. We have to continue to preach the good news. Deliverance has to come to the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Good. Um, as I was saying, the ancestral spirits. Let me, for those of you who are not, which are, who are not familiar with ancestral spirits, ancestral spirits are, they are the spirits of dead relatives hijacked by Satan, Satan, hijacked for satanic missions against the living. Yes, uh, because I know when it is written, it's appointed unto man to die once. So you might be wondering, what is your uh, relative, your ancestral spirit, the, uh, the, the spirit of your relative doing, you know, against you? Yes, the, the enemy hijacks those spirits and uses it against the living. So you may be wondering how, you know, how does he do that? Well, uh, I will refer you to, the, to 1 Samuel 28, where Saul went and invoked the spirit of Samuel. You remember the witch of Endor? He saw went and invoked. In fact, that was why God destroyed Saul. He went and invoked the spirit of um, the spirit of Saul. You know why was he invoking the spirit of Saul? That is to show you this is um, invoking the spirit of Samuel. Samuel is a prophet, a spirit-filled man. So, if Saul was able to even do that, that was Saul. You know, through a witch, Satan does this. There is he. Satan has endless ways that he can attack us. So it's left for us to open our eyes and make use of what the Lord has already given us. He has given us everything we need. In fact, the Lord made me to understand that, you know, that he has given us the best. What else? There was a time I was having a conversation with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit told me, look, I have, you have been given the best. You have been given everything because we have Jesus Christ. We have his burial, we have his death, his burial, and his resurrection and his blood. The stripes, everything that Jesus Christ went through, everything about Jesus Christ is power. Everything he went through is for us to use. Even the crown of thorns that was put on his head, the stripes, the piercing, everything that our Lord Jesus Christ went through was, is for us to make use of it against the kingdom of darkness. And for me, I decided... Uh, I won't sit down and watch the enemy prowl around like a lion looking for who to devour and then he'll end up devouring me. No, I decided long time ago that I am going to be making use of everything that the Lord has given us through, through his son, Jesus Christ. So if you're ready, then I'm going to be teaching you. And as, as I teach you, you make use of uh, uh, those Amory, like, you know, the, the word of the living God, the word of God is sovereign. Just decreeing it alone sends the agents of darkness away from you. So, like I said, ancestral spirits are the spirits of your dead relatives hijacked by Satan for his missions, you know, his enterprise. So, and um, uh, how does it function against your marriage, you may be wondering. Well, the ancestral spirits are like detectives, like, you know, uh, uh, detectives for the detectives for the kingdom of darkness. They dictate, uh, they, 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 you know, they, they dictate and they dictate what you get, what you receive, and what you do not receive. Like they function in two ways through generational causes and genealogical causes. Today I'm going to be dealing on generational causes. Genealogical causes are uh, something, uh, those, those ones are attached to health. In later times, I'm, I'll be discussing on that too, so that you will know how, uh, if you're uh, stricken with cancer or anything, so that you may you will know how all those came about, and then you find, then we will have solutions to it. Amen, amen. So they work function like dictatives, 
for, for, for Satan against our marriages, and they, they do this detective work in conjunction with, um, with uh, familiar spirits. Familiar spirits. Yeah, familiar spirits, you, will be, you might be wondering what is uh, familiar spirits. Familiar spirits are spirits. They are like the uh, satanic data collect collectors. You know, like in the real world, we have um, people collecting your data. They know what you like and what you don't like. Familiar spirits are, are data. They are the data collect collectors for the kingdom of darkness. They... They, they, they watch the patterns in each family, and they know what is permissible to you and what is not permissible to you. Like, for example, if when you get married, the, it's the function, it's the job of the familiar spirits to, to monitor. Uh, yeah, exactly. And monitoring is the right word. They are the monitors for the kingdom of darkness. They monitor, they know the patterns for each family. They know if divorce is permissible to you. If it is not permissible to you, no way can Satan use it against you. But if it's permissible to you, that is when they release the spirit of divorce against you. I'm talking about marriage, that's why I'm sent, you know, co focusing on divorce. But if it's the other things, like your health, is the same way. They monitor and know diseases that are permissible so that, you know, they will send out the spirit of infirmity to bring that to you. And how it functions with the... Um, with ancestral spirit is because you know Satan works in networks. He cannot be in one place at the same time. Only our Lord Jehovah can be in one place at all times. That's why he is omnipotent and omniscient. So Satan cannot. He w functions through um, uh, networks, little little clusters of networks here and there. So the ancestral spirit I'm teaching on functions with the familiar spirit through generational causes and genealogical causes, and they can also function in conjunction with the marine spirit I discussed with I discussed about earlier. So they all come together against you and in, in your marriage. So whatever you're going through, uh, trust me, the Lord is willing to deliver you from it if you are willing to be delivered. Because some people, you know, they are so used to uh, attacks, they are so used to... Uh, 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 Satan attacking them that they feel like there is no way out. They might as well just endure whatever they are going through. No, you don't have to endure abusive marriage any longer. There is a solution, and I'm going to teach you that, so, that solution so that you will get healing and deliverance in the almighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So right this minute, I just want to read a scripture from 1 Peter 1.18, and it says, For you... For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the, from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors. This thing right here to paraphrase is just talking about this same thing I'm discussing right now. The ancestral spirits, their generational causes and genealogical causes. So the Lord, it is part of what our Lord Jesus Christ has done for us, redeeming us from those causes. So we have no business uh, uh, enduring what we know we are not supposed to be enduring because we are born-again Christians. When you became a born-again Christian, your old self died. You don't have any relationship with who you used to be because who you used to be, like for me, example, you know, for me as, example, as an example, I have my old self had almost everything permissible against me, you know, name it every evil was permissible against my old self because you know going from my lineage and everything you know from my ancestral line and who i you know who i used to be so but now as a born again spirit filled child of the Lord, living god the enemy has nothing on me he cannot go back to my ancestral line and bring up something against me because number one the lord has exposed it number two i know my identity so it also requires you to recognize who you are in Christ, that your, those ancestors has nothing against you. Your ancestral line is not even traceable to you anymore because now you've given your life to our Lord Jesus Christ. There was one vision that the Lord showed me where when you give your life to, uh, to Jesus Christ, even your DNA is, DNA, your DNA changes. The Lord showed it to me. I was like, wow. So your DNA changes. It has nothing, re it's not a, 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 a replica of who you used to be before. So you need to stand, you know, and exercise the authority that our Lord has already given you. So, and also in Galatians 3.13, 
there our Lord Jesus Christ bore our curse because cursed is every man that hangs upon a tree. He has redeemed us from the cause of the law because he hung upon a tree. So if he hung upon a tree, affliction cannot arise a second time. You know, he hung upon a tree and carried and redeemed us from the curse, from curses. So how, how come the enemy is still uh, uh, fighting us through these ancestral spirits and all these generational and genealogical curses? Well, as you're, asking, uh, as you're uh, pondering on that, I just want to tell you, like I said, the last, on the last program last week, the enemy thrives on our ignorance. You know, our Lord said that his children perish for lack of knowledge and understanding. He thrives through his lies and our ignorance. Like I said before, what you do not know will kill you. There's nothing like, I'm not aware of this, therefore I am exempt from that. No, if you do not know anything, if you do not know you're right, Satan will use it against you. So it is high time for believers to rise up and exercise the right they have. For, God, for goodness sake, we are, we, are, we are the righteousness of God. We are, we, 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 we are the uh, uh, legal custodians of the earth. You know, we have the right to command Satan out of this earth because in Psalms it's written there that the Lord has given the earth to the children of men. The earth belongs to us. Even as the heir of the father, we own this place. So how can uh, 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 I, I liken him to um, uh, 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 um, uh, a servant to, to the Lord that ha was chased away from the kingdom? How can he come out, come back and chase us out from our father's inheritance? So today, as I am teaching you this thing, I hope you know that your eyes will open that you will retrieve every right that the enemy has been using against you. Every lies that he's been using against you. Today, as I am debunking them, you are going to stand on the truth. And, you know, as it is written, the truth will always make you free. So, uh, I, and uh, like I asked a question, how does uh, uh, the enemy use this ancestral spirit against us? You know, generational causes are forever when they are not broken. But for us that are in Christ, hello, our Lord Jesus Christ has broken all those things. We are free. We are delivered from them all. But for people that who are not in Jesus Christ, who are not believers, they still have the Adamic curse is still all over them, lingering over them, following them. But the thing is, you know, the enemy knows how to come after Christians, after believers, because he knows we do not know our right, and, uh, um, he, and his aim is just to crumble us here. And, you know, I always say he's not planning to, his plan is not to, you know, take us to hell, but to just make us miserable here and deprive us from our inheritance. If he can deprive us from our inheritance, he is, he is done. So... Uh, uh, we are not going to let him do that. The egg belongs to us and we will continue to reign in here. So uh, let me quickly tell you the signs that you need to look out for in order to determine whether you have ancestral spirits. Do you have a situation where the ladies or the men in your family don't last in marriage? Are you faced with the same marital problems as your mother faced in her life or even your father? Like now you're married, your mom, I heard a story about a pastor's wife. She was telling uh, someone that she divorced her husband when her, their son was, uh, their, their first son was only three years old. And that was the exact same time her parents got divorced. So are you facing something, a cycle all over again that your mom or your father went through in his marriage? If you are do, going through all those, it means you are faced with ancestral spirits. And today, the solution, you know, I'm rushing because uh, I have only 30 minutes and I have a lot of things to cover. Like I said, get yourself, get a hold of this book, call in here, call in KSCE, make a donation, $25, and we will send this out to you. But if, if you cannot, you know, my website is showing on the screen. Contact me via my, via my website and you can get this, uh, you can purchase this, and it's in Bands and Nobles. So the solution to ancestral spirit is for you to denounce them 
That is all you need to do. Denounce them and let the enemy know that you know your right, that he has no right against you anymore. Denounce them wherever, whatever it is that he has been using against you through your ancestral line. Right this minute, I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ and I break that seal in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has no right against you anymore. In the book of Luke 10, 19, we have authority over all the powers of the enemy, all his powers to steal, kill, and destroy. You know, that is all that he knows to do. So we have power over him and against him. Today I exercise that authority against the set, against the enemy of your marriage and I break every every seal, every stronghold, every lies, every ignorance that he's been using against you. That that ancestral line has been using against ancestral spirits that have been using against you. I break them with the authority I have in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Exodus 18:20, the Lord said, "No more Specifically, he said it in there, that whoever sins will die. And because you've given your life to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has already died for you. So anybody who is going to be inheriting this kind of, um, uh, this kind of um, cause is somebody that hasn't given, given them their lives to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price for you to be free, to be healed, to be set free from every stronghold. And you are set free today in the almighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I proclaim healing in your marriage, deliverance in your marriage, whatever spirit, be it the marrying spirit or the ancestral spirit that is functioning against you in your marriage, I take authority in the almighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I break it right this minute in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Call in with your questions. By, uh, I'm going to be here next week to continue from where I stopped, I have other things that I need to equip you with in order for you to be healed in your marriage. Enough is enough. The enemy cannot continue to embarrass the children of God, to embarrass the body of Christ with divorce rates skyrocketing off the roof. It cannot continue. We have to put a stop to it because our marriages need to be mended. Our families need to come together. The church needs to come together because we, we need to provoke the world around us. How can we do it when we are, when we, when we haven't even delivered ourselves from strongholds holding us down it is time for you to break loose and enjoy your marriage in the almighty name of our lord jesus christ i i will i'll i'll, I'll, I'll just be um i'm rounding off already as you all can see i'll be coming in next week with another series and i'll continue from where i stopped today so don't feel disappointed don't feel like you've lost anything if you have that you've missed anything if you have any question call in with your questions in my next series i'll continue from there okay and i'll see you guys next week by the special grace of the lord god almighty remain blessed let the abrahamic blessings be upon you let the finished work of our lord jesus christ and his perfection be in your home in your marriage over your children over your business over your health in the almighty name of our lord jesus christ reign and rule in your marriage amen reign and rule that is the watchword amen hallelujah Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSCE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours, or you can visit us on our website at www.